Rapid Fire Videos. Yes, here we are with another tutorial. This time we're focusing on Wobble Base in FL Studio. Now, this tutorial isn't a dubstep tutorial. It's a Wobble Base tutorial. You can apply this in many different genres of music. The original Wobble Base technique came from... Um, I, I believe it came from drum and bass, but it's probably there before that, actually. But what we're dealing with here is a bass synth with a modulating cutoff frequency um, for a low-pass filter. And that's what we're going to do, but we're not going to use any external plugins. We're going to be focusing on using exactly what FL Studio gives us, nothing more. And we're going to go for the simplest possible plugin, which is 3x OSC. Let's load that in the channel. Three oscillators with different waveforms. Let's turn the volume down on the last oscillator and turn the first two to the square wave oscillator, the square wave waveform. Detune the second one slightly using the fine knob, so we get this sound. Don't detune it too much because then it'll, it'll sound too detuned unless you want that, and you might want that in some cases. Now let's um let's program a bass sequence in the piano roll, and keep in mind we're not there yet, so it's gonna sound it's not gonna sound like wobble bass yet, but try to imagine what it would sound like. Um, once we add some wobblage. First of all, I'm going to use the slide tool here. Click this button to, to use the slide tool, and you can program slides in as notes. So now, for example, if I do this, I'll get this. It slides up to that note. Let's uh, make this longer, a bit longer. Now we're going to slide down. Keep in mind this is all me being creative. Uh, you can do whatever sequence you want, but we just need a sample sequence to play around with, so let's do this. That's our sample, our sample bass sequence. Let's plug this into the playlist a couple of times and make sure it plays over and over. And I'm also going to do a little drum beat here. Uh, we're going to keep it simple so we can hear the bass. So it's just going to be a kick and snare. Let's hear it. Now at this stage what you want to do is add some more meat to it, and that's what the third oscillator is there for. We're going to turn the volume to 50%, which is 0 dB. Make sure it's set to sine wave, because we want a very, very powerful sine wave there. And then turn the chorus knob to minus 12 semitones, so it'll always be minus 12, an octave below our main note. So that'll give us this powerful sub bass uh, in the low frequencies. And you, you probably won't be able to hear this over YouTube, unfortunately, but trust me, it's there. This is only the sine wave. So you might be able to hear that. If you can't, it's there, and it, it beefs up the bass. So now we've reached the wobble part. Click on Instrument Properties, the Ins tab here in 3 xosc and over here on the lower right hand side we have uh, this filter and this is what we want to modulate but first of all turn the filter mode to SVF LP times 2 turn the resonance to around this value over here and now we want to modulate this um, the cutoff frequency and we're not going to use any any automatic LFOs within our plugin we're going to be programming some LFO sequences manually uh, to give us more precise control so first of all, let's go into Piano Roll uh, in our sequence here from before. Right-click the Mod X uh, filter frequency knob and click Edit Events in Piano Roll. And now we can sequence this here using automation. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hold down right-click and program in this uh, linear increase in cutoff frequency, which sounds like this. It's a wobble, basically. For the next bit, I'm going to select this part, I'm going to click on Tools, and then I'm going to click LFO, 
and I'm gonna add a synchronized LFO here. Uh, the value knob sets uh, basically the overall value of the LFO. The range is how far it oscillates. Uh, in this case, it's a sine wave oscillation. That's your amplitude. This seems like a good setting. Uh, the speed knob, you can use this to sync um, the LFO to your tempo. I'm going to right-click this and sync it to one step. And that's that's going to give us this effect. For the next part, I'm going to manually program in these ramps. And now for this part, I'm going to use the LFO tool again. And keep in mind, this is once again personal preference. You can program this which, whichever way you want, but these are the tools that you can use to achieve the sound that you want. So let's sync this to two steps this time. So we're basically almost there. Let's see what this sounds like against our drum beat. Right, we need to do a couple more things. We want to beef this up even more, so we're going to add an effect to it. Make sure you send your 3x oscillator synth to channel 1, and then add an effect called Flangus, which is a flanger effect, and it makes it sound much nicer. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's um, get ahead of ourselves here a bit and program another base sequence because it's so awesome. I'm going to copy this first sequence you know, to another pattern and start over and modify it slightly. Here we go. Let's program this thing again. Let's do like a, an extreme high pitch slide here. And increase the LFO frequency for this part. See, this is very, very, um, I wouldn't say it's tedious, but it's very, very precise. So. You have a lot of opportunity to fine-tune your sounds. Now, for this part, I'm going to do another ramp here. Oops. Yes, it does take a while, but you get used to it, and you can get some very, very nice sounds. Uh, much nicer than what you can get by just using the LFO inside a plugin, which is going to be static, and you can't play around with it as much as you can with this. You can do a lot more, a lot more than this if you go ahead and modulate things like FM, uh, FM modulation within your plugin and other things like that to get raspy sounds. So now we have another sequence here. Let's hear these two sequences, one after the other, over the drums. <laughs> Right, so here we are. We've got a decent wobble bass going on. You can do a million other things after you've done this, but this is the, the basic sound I think most people are looking for. Um, th people like, like Skrillex, for example, they, um, they use a lot of different techniques. For example, they use a format filter. I think I think Skrillex uses a format filter to get that really like voice-like wobble effect, and you can get format filters uh, for free plugins. There there are plugins out there that, that do that, and all you do is you just automate these parameters and manually draw in your curves, and you can get some very very nice effects with that. Now, following on from the previous video, I'm going to add some reverb on the snare to make it even nicer. Right, so I have added. Um,
a plugin called Algorverb, which I introduced in the last video, to the snare to get some um, nicer snareage. Let's see what that sounds like uh, on the beat. No, no kick, please. Kick goes to master track. Snare goes to track two. We don't want that much reverb. That's better. There it is. That's a lot nicer. Let's share this again. Right, so there's a basic way of doing wobble bass in FL Studio. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, remember to check our website. Yeah, we have a website now. Um, it's in the description section www.firstcreativesolutions.co.uk We do music production, audio programming, and other cool things. Catch you next time.